We're crew. We listen to Wake Up Tahoe. On today's show, we have guest host Taylor Burns, the hottie from Mont Blue. <laughs> She's got her own Twitter follower saying, hottie from Mont Blue. Seriously, you can follow her at that. We're going to be talking all the entertainment and excitement at Mont Blue. Yes. Such as? We have the Reggae Festival. We have um, Rehab, Long Beach Rehab tonight, All Male Review, Ladies Drink Free, Dollar Drink Night, Opal Blue. We have everything here at Mont Blue. The pool parties. I mean... Anybody who's anybody comes to Mont Blue. We're the only place to be in Tahoe. And we're going to try to cover it all in 30 minutes, which probably won't happen. No. W Wake Up Tahoe starts now. Coming to you from the 12th floor of the Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa on the beautiful south shore of Lake Tahoe, this is Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. Wake Up Tahoe is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. It's Taylor Burns, my co-host today, and her little one, Rome. How you doing? Say hi. Hello. That's how we do it on the show. <laughs> Happy Friday out there to everybody watching to you. Coming to you live from Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa. And Taylor Burns joins me today. I've been trying to get you on the show for months. We have to go through her people who have to go through their people, to their people, to their people, to her people. Finally, we get you. Finally. Only cost us $37,000 for this 30-minute show. Wait, who gets that money? Mont Blue? Yeah, obviously. Mont Blue. <laughs> Taylor Burns, the, what was exactly is your title here at Mont Blue? Um, I'm the assistant manager for Opal and Blue, and I'm kind of taking over uh, Blue and Boogie Nights and all the fun things we have going on inside Blue. And then I'm the VIP manager, so anytime you want a bottle, you want VIP treatment, you call me. VIP treatment. Mm -hmm. Right there, right in the upper car. Yes, Taylor Burns is your person. We're going to talk about all the events coming to Mont Blue over this weekend. Now, last weekend we had a, a debut of a new show, which we've we been kind of did. talking about on the show. We're going to talk about that because your phone's getting blown up. Oh, my phone will not stop. <laughs> will not stop, ladies. Blowing Keep up calling me. Right now. <laughs> but first of all, first things first, yesterday the Barton Foundation had their annual golf tournament raising money for the Barton Foundation to construct their level three trauma center over there. And everybody came out, Doctor No there's Doctor's Glore. Ah. And it was a theme party on the golf course. So everybody came out with Hawaiian lays and grass skirts. There was one doctor, Dr. Orr's actually playing golf with no shirt, a grass skirt, a coconut bra. <laughs> Yes, this is a physician actually played out there. So it was actually a lot of fun out there. Thank you to Stephanie Smith at Lake Tahoe Golf Course, the general manager, for doing a great job of getting it, pulling things together. And Barton Foundation keeps it rolling with Barton's 50th anniversary party coming up next weekend. Rob's having way too much fun on the show. One of our big time listeners. We're going to start our own Facebook page. You know what I'm saying? She does. She needs one. She does. She Look has at her. So many fans. <laughs> you can catch Rome Better. at the beach every weekend here. So Barton Golf Tournament. And then from there, we rolled over at to Rent. We saw the new play Rent at Lake Tahoe Community College. Yes, it was amazing. You saw it too? I did, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Great actors. They got a ton of people in this show. I know. And, and you know what? I believe some of them are actually in Boogie Nights as well. Mommy, that was what I was going to get to. So ah. a lot of the actors in the play are actually dancers at Boogie Nights. So that was really cool to see them. And Taylor, I saw a lot of the similar moves. Yes. Mommy, the TV? Yeah. He's totally like, hey, that's a Saturday Night move. What's she saying? She wants to know where the TV is. Right over there. The, there it is. Right there. Right there. Rome. Wave. My secondary guest host today. Such a cutie. How old is she? Three and a half. Three and a half. Going on 13. So a little young for maybe the club scene, but you know. A little bit, but you know what? I started young too, and now <laughs> look where I am. <laughs> so tell us, Tay, what's going on at Mont Blue this weekend? <clears throat> well, tonight we have the Long Beach Rehab. Um, doors are at, I believe doors are at 9 p.m. And uh, that's a late night Billy show. They always get super busy, so we say get there early. It's only $20 to get in. 20 bucks. I have amazing drink specials that we've brought into the club tonight because we've realized people were going to the zone bar to get the good drinks. So might as well keep you in so you can watch all the music and get the good drink specials tonight. And on occasion, you can catch Taylor work in the zone bar. 
Uh, not so much anymore. HQ. I saw you bar. there yesterday. Or HQ, HQ, sorry. HQ, HQ. HQ. Yes, I yes, still yes. go back to the basics and bartend every now and then. By I'm, request only. Right. I'm <laughs> actually bartending in Opal on Saturday, which, oh my God, I haven't bartended the nightclub in six months. So I'm excited about that. Um, tonight, also, ladies drink free till 2 a.m. in Opal. I mean, how can you beat that? Cover is $10 and you drink free till 2 a.m. How does that work? How, how can you guys do that at Mont Blue? <laughs> We're just that good. We <laughs> love good. our locals and we love the ladies. And I constantly get asked, when is it going to be gentlemen's night? Yeah. And I said, well, technically, ladies' night is gentlemen's night because we get the ladies all sauced up for you. And then they're ready to dance the night away with the guys. Speaking of getting the ladies set, sauced up, <laughs> <laughs> we have a male review. It is... It's amazing. It, <laughs> no, that's, you could call it that. You could call it that. I can call it that. Um, I mean, it is our little mini, I don't even know if I could say it, Magic Mike, right here in Mont Blue. Um, doors are at 7, and I'm telling you, you need to get there at 7 because the good seats get taken right away. And the good seats are the ones closest to the floor. Yes. Where the yes. guys do their thing. The guys do they their do, thing. They do their thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. You can catch myself there hosting that event. We're going to talk more about the mail room. The new mail review coming to Mont Blue and with Taylor Burns here coming up. But first, we're going to go out to Getaway Reno Tahoe and we'll be back. It's Drew here with Getaway Reno Tahoe and we are at the grooviest place in Tahoe, one of the great clubs and new clubs in Tahoe. Boogie Nights right here in Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa. We've raided the thrift stores. I got all the boys in the room. And we're going to check acts out like Michael Jackson, Tina Turner, Madonna, and more. We're going in. Come with us. Let me ask you this. Who doesn't like to dress up in costume? Decked out with the freshest 70s attire rated from a local thrift store and goldfish platform shoes, I walked into Boogie Nights and it was like walking back in time. Light up dance floor, disco balls, and the grooviest tunes from the 70s and 80s, things were just getting started. It was afros and bell bottoms everywhere I looked. The disco diva dancers were rocking it, and before I knew it, I was hula hooping with the Boogie Nights hula hooper, who should have an instructional video cassette coming out soon. What 70s and 80s party wouldn't be complete without a roller girl who also made her appearance on stage? Just when you think things couldn't get any groovier, a virgin Madonna made an appearance. Actually, I think it was Madonna singing like a virgin, and then like deja vu, out of a music video in the 80s, Michael Jackson rocked the stage with Thriller. Almost better than the original, in my opinion. At Boogie Nights, no one wants to go home. And now, here's your weather. With Adria. <laughs> With Adria. Good morning. Your weather today being brought to you by Getaway Reno Tahoe. Sunny skies and 71 degrees this Friday. Saturday, you're looking at highs of 75. Sunday, it's going to drop a little bit to 65 with cloudy skies. And Monday, 57 degrees with isolated thunderstorms and 30% chance of precipitation. So, get those umbrellas out, guys. Welcome back to the show. Special shout out to Sarah Eggleson who will be providing footage of last night's Live at Lakeview. Jelly Bread played last night with Four Piece Puzzle at Live at Lakeview Concert Series at El Dorado Beach. And there was a pretty good turnout for those guys. Jelly Bread talked about as being the top Tahoe local band. But also another Tahoe local band, South Shore Band Weapon, like Tail alluded to earlier, will be playing at Long Beach Rehab tonight at Mont Blue. Get your tickets now. Just 20 bucks. And that is just the beginning of all the action as we get into Hot Legs Contest. Hot Legs. Starting July 3rd, we are going to be doing a Hot Legs go-go search. So if you want to be Opals and Blue, Boogie Nights, next top hot uh, go-go, or I don't know how you say that. Go-go <laughs> go -go dancer. Go-go dancer, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Um, we're going to be hosting a contest. It's going to be every Wednesday um, in Opal. So show up, get on the Stairmaster, and get ready, ladies. Come, we're going to have people. We already have people signed up from Sacramento, Reno, everywhere. It's already filling up. 
It's going to be a fun one. I'll be emceeing that. But we want to step over to our Side Pony Tuesdays coming up as we are all dressed in 80s attire today. Taylor, going with the 80s chic look. 80s chic. Yes, this is what you're going to get at 9 a.m. 80s chic. 80s chic. <laughs> and then Rome's got her Side Pony going in her bright pink and green. She's all ready to go. She's ready for Glam Rock. Glam Cobra. Glam. Going to be tonight. Heaven the Village Concert Series. These guys are fantastic. Top 80s cover band in California. We're all getting all decked out for it. That'll be taking place at 5 p.m. tonight through 9 p.m. And then the band's going to hold over and play? Yes. Um, into Mont Bleu yes, yes, tomorrow, yeah, night. tomorrow night. Um, right after the all-male review, we are going to turn it okay. back into our 70s, 80s nightclub. And they're going to be going all night. So get out your leather, your lace. We might even have a costume contest for we this. We should. People love dressing up in 80s attire. Oh, I mean, I got everything out of my closet. My whole closet's 80s. I dress up 80s every day, so. 80s every day. And every, it's going to be happening. 80s every day. Doors open at 9 p.m. The band will probably take place around 10 or so. We'll have a DJ in there mixing it up, and it's going to be fun. 70s and 80s rock party at Boogie Nights inside Mont Blue. The hot spot, huh, Rome? Yeah. Yeah, if Rome was 21, this is where she would be hanging out. She would. I've already had tons of phone calls um, for the Saturday nights, the Glam Cobra. So get there right at 9 because we will sell out. Bottle service? Bottle service, always. Um, go ahead. Uh, be, anybody can call me anytime for bottle service at 775-586-2000. And that's for both nightclubs bottle service. <sighs> You gotta get bottle service. You gotta look you like a high to. roller. And it's so much cheaper. I don't think people realize that. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper than going to the bar and you have a place to sit all night. Good point. Yeah. Why why not? Why fight all the traffic? Michael Phelps will have bottle service at Mont Blue coming up. He'll be in the Celebrity mm -hmm. Golf Championship coming up in August. And I'm really excited about Michael Phelps. I wanna see how good a golfer is. He's supposedly quitting swimming mm -hmm. and taking on the LPGA. Really? Or is it the PGA? One of those. You know, he has a better chance in the LPGA. But yeah, he'll be coming to <laughs> Celebrity Golf Championship here in August. So excited to see him. Charles Barkley, Aaron Rodgers from the Green Bay Packers, as well as Tony Romo and Ray Romano on all the groups. And where do they party during Celebrity Golf Weekend? Mont Blue. They are always in Opal. We have them in there every time they come. Opal, and hopefully Boogie Nights. Yeah, we'll get them all decked down in their 70s. Uh, they'll be decked down. Hey, who knows? Maybe the mail review. Some of them. <laughs> Maybe Good we point. can get Tony Romo to do a guest appearance. I don't know. There you go. Tony <laughs> Romo, the host of the mail review. We're going to take another quick break. We're going to go over to Boogie Nights now and check out the club and see what's happening there. Remember, Glam Cobra ten, tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Get there early. Get your tickets. Rome, rocking out. Rome's That's right. too much rocking out. Take a break. Morning. We'll be back. I'm Megan with Getaway Reno Tahoe and I finally arrived here at Mont Blue Resort Casino here in South Lake Tahoe. Time to check in, get changed and have some fun.
wish you a great night and mom. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome back to the show. Talk inside Pony Tuesday. Don't forget, it is this Tuesday. Rock your pony to work or wherever. I love that, you know? Mm -hmm. Thanks to Crystal Kimball for inviting us on Facebook. Message us if you'd like the link to the event so you can join in. I will be kind of moving the wig over. I sort of like <laughs> this. Beautiful. Yeah. Remember I Brett, love it. Remember I love Brett it. Michaels did this when he went into rehab? It's true. Well, you know what? You got that Brett Michaels rehab look going on right now. Yeah, I like it. I'll tell you what. We're going to party tonight with Glam Crober in the Heavenly Village for the Heavenly Village concert series for 5 to 9. And then the after party. Now, this girl we're talking to, we have her on the phone right now, knows a thing or two about parties. Lauren Lindley joins us on the phone. Lauren, how you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm awesome. How are you guys? You know, we're all 80s geared out here. We got Rome <laughs> with the side pony, Taylor going 80s chic, and then you got me with the uh, unknown, unspecified look at this point. <laughs> yeah, right? So after It's going to be a... It's going to be an 80s party all day today. Isn't it true? Yes. I woke up in an 80s mood, and I'm thinking about carrying it all through the night, and then your party tonight, right? My party is tonight. It's at the American Legion. It starts at 9 o'clock. It goes till it shuts down. We've got uh, Berkman and Dan Kramer and Tommy G are DJing 80s tunes all night. It's going to be amazing. 80s garb. What are you wearing? Everybody wants to know. Oh, oh, what am I wearing? I went to the Junkie in Reno, and I totally scored this sweet black velvet dress with giant puffy sleeves and rhinestones yeah. all over it. <laughs> Rome says yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rome's a, well, and my hairstylist, Katie, from Session Salon, is going to 80s up my hair yeah. this afternoon, so I am, I am pumped. <laughs> now, Adra's going with the crimped look today. What, what kind of hairstyle are you going with? I, it's going to be it's gonna be like 80s big hair, like think 80s Madonna hair. Oh, yes, love love yes, yeah. Taylor loves it. So what time is that tonight, Lauren Lindley? It starts at 9 at the Legion. Bring, yeah, it's a, it's, and the Legion is cash only, so bring cash for the bar and bring $5 to tip my DJs. $5 to tip the DJs and cash bar. That is at the American Legion tonight. Lauren Lindley, how old are you? Everybody wants to know. Twitter followers. I will be 33. 33, born in 1980. Congratulations. Well, happy birthday to Lauren Lindley. Thank you. Yeah, no better way to bring in a birthday than with an 80s rock party. Woo! All right, yeah, girl. totally. Bring everybody from the Glam Cobra show because they'll be, they'll be ready and, and pre-pumped. They will be pre-pumped. Mm -hmm. And if not, they'll oh. finish okay. pumping over at Lauren's birthday party. <laughs> 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 hey, Lauren, thank you so much and happy birthday. See you tonight. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Lauren Lindley, our... Uh, correspondent part of the all girls drinking club oh i love it isn't that crazy i love it i applied you should apply yeah you know me and drinking just don't don't work anymore <laughs> i don't i have no time for drinking anymore wine <laughs> that's that's my style that's about where it goes that's about where hey, it goes your style though reggae festival coming into town next weekend absolutely it was our biggest outdoor concert last year it was huge and to kick off our summer outdoor concert series it's it's the best thing we could do. Um, the tickets are only $40. And the doors are at 1 o'clock. And it, it's an all-day event. So bring your sunscreen. Make sure you have waters. Blanket to sit on the grass. It's awesome. It is phenomenal. We, I think we have seven bars set up. Venues. People are just keep calling us and wanting to get their venues in there. It's phenomenal. And then we're going to carry the party on to the night into the... Of course, 80s, 70s, 80s party and Opal Ultra Lounge. And nice. yeah. And Island of Black and White will be debuting there at the Reggae Festival. They are the Hard Rock Battle of the Band's winners. They'll be on the show, I'm sure, before this event. Awesome. Excited to have them back, Tay. Yes. All the good entertainment Can't wait. here. <laughs> hey, some big name bands Casey and the Sunshine Band. Yep. And the Village People. 
Yes, and hopefully we could bring that whole group of people, all those baby boomers, into Boogie Nights. That's yeah. that's your job. That's my job. Wear that's that outfit and we'll get them in. I just wear it. I'm like, hey, we're going streaking to the Boogie Night. Well, not really. Yeah. That, was, that was last weekend. Hey, Shh, mail that's... review, get your tickets. That's 7 o'clock Saturdays. <laughs> 7 o'clock tickets, get your tickets now for the mail review. And a little reminder here, Lake Tahoe Conservancy Board has invested more than $40 million in bicycle and pedestrian networks around Lake Tahoe. Tom Davis, our mayor here, we've had him on the show a couple of times, says the paths are just not about getting around. They're about accessing all the extraordinary recreational attractions that our community has to offer. So Mayor Tom Davis doing that. South Tahoe Greenway, $900,000 to build the first phase of a 3.62 mile between Glenwood and Herbert Streets. Sawmill Bike Path, which Sawmill Pond, everybody fishes over there to construct between Highway US 50 and Echo View Estates there. So that's super exciting information. And sex, drugs, and rock and roll offered at Lake Tahoe Community College. The class designed by San Jose State University was taught for journalism and mass communications department. The course spans from Motown to British incisions of glam rock, which will be coming up here this weekend. So Adra's thinking about she'd like to get her degree in broadcast journalism, seeing that she uh, decided not to finish college, but she's still Aww. attempting to get there and do it, you know? So girls having fun back Sorry. here. I don't want to hang out with her. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, look for that coming up here, and uh, have a few shout-outs coming up in the next break, and Adriel will be on for her daily update. We're going to ga-ga-goo-goo all the way <laughs> It's a party here, guys. I'm telling you, wakeuptahoe.com for all the party information. We'll take a quick break, and we're going to check in now with Glam Cobra, the guys themselves, yeah. who will be here all throughout the weekend. We'll be back.
Welcome back to the show. Andrew joins us on set now for our daily update. We'd like to thank Taylor and Rome for coming in. Rome, uh, kind of a, a girl from my own heart. You know what I'm saying? God, God that was my song. That's your song? That's I know song. you like them young, Drew. I just didn't that know. That is totally that uncalled young. for. We're, <laughs> a girl after his own heart. Rome lady. and I are friends. We <laughs> play with dolls together and stuff like that Speaking on occasion. Speaking of dolls, um, Barbies were one of the top played with dolls of the 80s along with Cabbage Patch dolls. So and true. I had a black Barbie. I mean, a black Cabbage Patch dolls. Patch dolls, and I think you had a cabbage yeah, patch yeah. ball too. My mom was trying to teach a me dog. diversity when I was younger. Yeah, so by she... buying me a black cabbage patch doll. I had one too. Her name was Paula. What was yours? I don't remember, but I remember in a small town, it was like mm, okay, you know. Drew, was, Drew had Adra all <laughs> cabbage 80s patch doll. out today. We'll stop her from talking for a minute <laughs> as we do our shout outs for today. Haggy Banks <laughs> says, "Question for y'all." She tweets in saying, "Did Drew shave his legs before wearing the fishnets on what was it a week ago show?" Yeah, when we had the 500th Twitter follower. Yeah, I did. The didn't. big announcement. I didn't. Day. I'm waiting to wax. I'm waiting to wax on that yeah, one. The editing on good. the show is great, courtesy of Ethan C. Thank you, Ethan. We're getting better and better all the time. Thank at Fabulous Tahoe and Jack Durst for all that. From the show with Evan, I just want to tell you that my neighbor did their PhD in bats. Yeah, because you were talking about that yesterday. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy that people watch it and then they like want to tell us all about it. So that's awesome. The Keep flying us. bats that we uh, investigated there. You used to catch them in your nets. We did. We used to miss net them. Will Richards and I from Tahoe Institute of National Sciences. That was fun. Um, someone should redo Rod Stewart's version of Maggie May and change the words to wake up Tahoe. I think I've got some Thing to say to you. Wake up, Maggie. I don't know how the song goes. Wake up, Maggie, to wake up time. Do you think we can to you? We might be able to get Glam Cobra to change the words tonight. We could. We could. We could ask them, like, here's your new lyrics. We've been wearing this around town all day. Uh, been only arrested and frisked twice. I'll tell you, cool. I was walking into the Mont Blue Casino today and had my leather jacket on, my sunglasses, my big purse, and I'm walking in and Guys were grabbing their wives and moving them. It was like the whole casino floor was partying Are around. Are you sure the me. girls weren't moving their guys away? Like, I don't know, but I was walking in and like. Were you working out? You have your leg warmers on. You should be working out. Hey, uh, can, no, I got again, my old derby fishnets on today. Oh, there you go. But I'll have the big uh, spiky hair. I like the flip flops with the '80s look. That was definitely hot back then. This is Tahoe. People. Janae at Lake Tahoe Yoga has her first graduating class of yoga students today. Congratulations, yes. to all of them. They're going to get a diploma. Uh huh. You know, and just I, like mine. I tweeted her. I asked her. I said, "Can they wear those little hats with the tassels and do yoga poses and send us a picture?" And. I'm She's waiting to hear back, Janae. <laughs> and again, Lauren Lindley, we'd like to thank her for calling in today. Happy 33rd birthday and to her. And I'll be there. She said I can get my, my 1985 bicycle picture in the photo booth today. <laughs> Adrian, with your daily updates, Lauren does have the photo booth going. Today's daily update is on bicycles, but it is National Skateboarding Day. It is National Skateboarding Day. Yippee. Yay. Okay. <laughs> and I reported on it last year, and I have video someplace else. If you really want it. Tweet me. I'll send it to you. Waiter. It's from last year, though. So, and it features roller skating, of course, <laughs> on National Skateboard Day. So. Cycling. Moving on to our daily update. Do we recommend cycling in tight 80s pants? Yes. Okay, perfect. Because it actually says that um, if you want to lose weight bicycling, you should wear spandex because it's less forgiving. So, Pearl Izumi, here in town where Lauren Lindley works, is the place to get all your tight spandex because you no know one wants saggy spandex. It's true. It's true. We have it on tape. It's you wear tight spandex with your jeans. It makes your butt look that much better. Uh, well, it stops you from like eating a lot because you're like, oh, if my spandex doesn't fit, uh-oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> a little harder when you're using the restroom. You have to take so, all those layers off. Anyway, like I've started biking again recently. And what we just were talking about how they're getting the grants to extend the bike paths here in town. And we're always working on getting better bikes and we're a biking community. That's what everyone's been saying. And so I've 
taken the challenge of riding my bicycle every day. And I have a 1985 Fuji Boulevard, which is a 10 speed that is equally at home on the beach, city streets, and country roads for the recreational commuter to whom comfort, convenience, and fun are of primary importance. It's a real workhorse. And I just want to tell people that because I got laughed at yesterday when I took it to the bike shops. They laughed at me. I, I brought on my bike and they're like, <laughs> started laughing. But my friend Noel, Shout out to you, Noel. He did say that in the Pacific Northwest, they are a hot commodity. <laughs> and, he, and I said, well, is that the old women or the old bicycles? Because yeah. I was kind of putting them together. But You on the hot bicycle would be a hot commodity. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, so we're going to do reasons to bike from bicycling.com. All right. Here's we got to get with it. Here's our top reasons. It strengthens, bicycling strengthens your biggest muscles when you cycle. And what's the biggest muscle in the body, Adra? Well, it says that your quads, hamstrings, hip muscles, and glutes. No. Your butt. Okay. <laughs> it is <laughs> the biggest muscle on my body. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Um, it says that as you ride, you, you build have? a lean muscle tissue in your lower, lower body, especially in your legs and glutes, that are essential for increasing your fat burning ability in your entire body. That's good. Um, one of the girls from Tamba told me that it's hard to keep weight on when you're a cyclist. So, Looking for an excuse to take weight off. There you go. Um, number two, mm -hmm. trains your muscles to burn more fat by cycling. It uses long, steady rides. Um, using long, steady rides builds hundreds of thousands of capillaries in your legs, which means you can deliver more oxygen-rich blood to your working muscles. Your... <clears throat> Mitochondria. Mitochondria. The fat burning furnaces in your muscle cells. You get bigger so you can increase influx of oxygen to burn more fat and produce more energy. Yes. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cells. Powerhouse cell of the body. You know this from biology when you were a major. At... When I got my master's, I studied those things. Next one. <laughs> Next one. Produces more ways to burn fat. The endurance training you do on bicycle elevates your levels of fatty acid um, binding proteins and fat carrying enzymes so your body's more efficient at Shutter, shuttling fatty acids from storage into your working muscles. Simply put, the fitter you get, the more oxygen you can use and the more fat you can burn. Burn it, baby. Burn it. That's why, the like, you know, they're always in spin class. They're doing that whole spin thing. And so... The other reason, increase your daily calorie burn. Cycling increases your daily calorie burn. Now, this is the exciting part, guys. Um, cycling burns calories, hundreds of them, while you're turning the pedals, even at a recreational pace, which going around Tahoe at a recreational pace, going to Pope Beach, going to the Beacon, all of that. Um, of 13 to 15 miles per hour, but you will burn 500 to 600 calories in one hour. Now, if you have a rum runner in the cup holder on your bicycle, you're probably defeating that you're purpose. Going, it's you, like a balance. It's balancing it out. It's, <laughs> and so, okay, so if you were to go every day for one hour, you would burn 4,000 calories on average per week. That is a pound of fat a week you'd be losing. And then if you ride every, um, if you were, on the other hand, jogging and walking, you would burn 150 to 250 calories an hour, and jogging only 350 to 450. So you're actually getting more calories burned by just a recreational. Now, if you were to step that up and be like going uphill and doing all of those spinning type of things where you're, what do you call it? Pelvic thrust? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and so last the last one, one is um, you continue to burn calories after you're done. Cycling um, makes your body continue to burn calories at a higher rate after you've put your bike away because it's repairing and replenishing your muscles, building your mu lean <clears throat> muscle tissue and raising your metabol BMR, basic metabolite. Yes, what Drew said. <clears throat> Metabolic rate. The calories you burn while you're just hanging around, not exercising. So what kind of word is that? Yeah, 30 <laughs> to 45 minutes of exercise most days a week can boost it and keep it raised all day. So if you ride to work and home from work, you're already fulfilling your daily requirements. You'll be burning, long story short, a pound a week, looking good, feeling great, saving the environment with less gas. That's what it's all about. Gas, gas went up a nickel. That's going to do it for today's show. Remember, we'll see everybody tonight at 5 p.m. at the Heavenly Village Concert Series. Thanks to Taylor for coming on and Mont Blue, the place to hang out this weekend. Anything else, eh? I think we're supposed to shout out the That's going to do it. We'll see you on Monday. We'll have your weekend update and much, much more on the show. Peace. <laughs>